What up y'all, how's it going? Ben Dean here, and today I'm going to be eating a couple different burritos. I have a bacon, egg, and cheese burrito right here, and an orange tequila chicken burrito, which is, I guess is some kind of Asian-inspired burrito, and this one is obviously, obviously kind of like a, a breakfast burrito type of thing. I also have some chips and some Coke. Mm. And uh, this came out to about... 1850 or so, so not a bad price. These burritos are pretty hefty, by the way. Uh, definitely a decent size. So let me cut these open. Usually I wouldn't, but I kind of want to get that that visual on the camera. So uh, let me see. Let me go ahead and, and try this one first. This is the orange uh, teriyaki chicken, or not teriyaki, orange tequila chicken. Uh, Mmm, smelling real good. So you have the uh, chicken in there, the orange chicken. I don't know how much, if they're, they're using like some kind of tequila glaze or something. And the sauce, you can also see green beans and egg noodles in there. So yeah, this is looking like a, like a kind of Asian Mexican burrito fusion. Uh, looking really interesting and looking really good. And here is the bacon, egg, and cheese. The best combo, bacon, egg, and cheese. You can't beat bacon, egg, and cheese. So let's see. Maybe you can beat this one. I don't know. The bacon is, uh, well, we'll have to find out. But the bacon is definitely not the most crispy looking bacon in there. Uh, looks like they put some lettuce in there. Hmm. This one is overwhelming. This one is the one I was looking forward to. But the cross section, I got to admit, isn't looking the best. Um, they also do have uh, a hash brown in here as well. So, I mean, I, I assume it will be good, but, um, you know, the presentation, you know, I was expecting a little bit more, to be honest, but it's okay. Let me try this one first. Mm. Oh, yeah, that is good, though. That is good. I love me a bacon, egg, and cheese bagel. My favorite breakfast creation of all time, probably. Um, I even love the one at McDonald's. Actually, I'm not going to lie. That's probably like my favorite thing out there. The bacon, egg, and cheese bagel from McDonald's. They don't have it in Korea. At the McDonald's in Korea, though. Which is a damn shame. I can only really eat it when I go to America or when I'm traveling. So, oh man, I really miss that thing. And I just, I've never really seen anything like bacon, egg, and cheese burrito or bagel or sandwich in Korea before. So, I definitely had to give this a try. And I'm getting those flavors for sure. The old flavors, bringing back those memories. Uh, again, you can't really see anything. You might be thinking, man, you're tripping. That looks like nothing, but I'm telling you, it is good. Uh, they also put a little bit of salsa on one of the sides. I feel, I feel like some kind of hot sauce. I mean, mm. which uh, it does. Usually, I don't put hot sauce on a bacon, egg, and cheese bagel. But it does work. The bacon, not while it's not the crisp, crispiest. It is good and flavorful, and it tastes like good bacon. The eggs and the hash brown in there, I'm, yeah, I'm really liking this for sure. Let me polish off this one and then start on it. Let me try this one. Oh, yeah. It was hitting the spot. Yesterday, I didn't really eat that much. Oh, wait, yeah. I didn't eat that much yesterday, so I'm pretty hungry today. All I had, I didn't eat anything until dinner, and then for dinner all I had was like some sushi. All right, well, um, and then later on I kind of had like a couple slices of pizza for a late night snack. And a couple bites of halal, guys. But still, that's not very much for me. Anyway, here's kind of the Asian-inspired burrito here. I've never seen anything like this, actually. I've seen 
Asian inspired Mexican food before, but never in a burrito like this with the noodles and the and the, the green beans on there. Presentation is looking a lot better. Will it be tasty? Because this one is really good actually, so let's try it up. Wow. I feel like I'm eating like an Asian dish, like an Asian meal, man. That's pretty crazy. Uh, the chicken in there is good. All the ingredients are good. Got a little bit of the uh, a kick. I added hot sauce to both of these. Man, it really tastes like I'm eating some stir fry wrapped up in a tortilla. It's weird to eat it like that because usually like noodles, chicken, like Chinese, like orange chicken. I would always eat that with a fork or chopsticks or something, never with my hands. So it's just a weird eating experience. I'll tell you that. But it is good for sure. My brain's trying, it's having a little, kind of a hard time trying to process it. For some reason, um, I didn't really have to process the uh, this guy over here, but yeah, this one kind of messing with me a bit. I can't tell if it would just be better to eat regularly, you know what I'm saying? But hey, it's still tasty. It's still tasty. And this will definitely satisfy my hunger to, for today. The sun would come out. I've been having some bad issues with my camera lately, so I apologize if you're watching. I don't think anyone really pays attention except me. Maybe a couple people out there, but these, man, my, my. Whoa. Regular Chinese food. Hmm. Okay, not gonna lie though, I do like this one a lot more, so I'm gonna save this one for last. I'm gonna eat this. But yeah. Anyway. I yeah, hope you guys are having a good weekend. I don't have anything planned. Uh, honestly, guys, this heat wave is intense. I talk about it a lot. But, yeah, I don't really want to do anything. Too hot. I got a buddy playing on a... He's playing a little show on Saturday, tomorrow. Uh, my girlfriend, she's going out with some of her friends tomorrow night, too. So, I'll be free. I might check out the show. It's, it's kind of far, though. The only thing... Maybe if one of my someone else wants to go with me, probably wouldn't want to go alone. Uh, plan on maybe watching a couple movies. There are a couple movies I want to watch with SJ. Um, she she mentioned a movie that she wanted to watch called. Uh, what was it called? Um, what was that movie called? I don't know. I think it was called Once Upon a Time in America or something. Something like that. An older movie, right? I looked it up.
got pretty good reviews. Almost four hours long. It's insane. If she really wants to watch it though, like, honestly, I don't know how well I can sit through that long of a movie. But, um, I'll probably end up watching that, maybe. Maybe something else. I watched a really strange movie last weekend. One of the weirdest movies I've seen in a while. Honestly, to be honest, probably the most unsettling movie I've seen in a long time. Super weird, creepy, eerie, strange. With with the BGM, if you like weird, like unsettling, trippy, like dark, kind of dark movies, you might like it. I think it's one of those movies that you either re you like or you hate. It's called The Killing of a Sacred Deer. It's got a uh, Colin Farrell. Who else? Nicole Kidman, I think. And like some other some other people, but oh my god. The uh, this basic plot is like there's a heart surgeon successful. It was a very like straight straight and narrow life, I guess. Has a family, and there's this. Uh, he's hanging around with like this this kid keeps showing up, probably like high school kid, and it's it gets weird. Like with well, this kid, what, what's he coming around for? Like he wants something, kind of. Uh, Kind of, uh, I, I don't know, he has like bad intentions, it seems, or maybe you don't know what his intentions are, and that's what you're trying to figure out, I guess. But, with the music, the way it was shot, everything just made it super weird. Yeah, I'm a lot fuller than I thought it would be, to be honest. But I think I should be able to polish this off. Mm. This is way better than this, actually. The Asian one, honestly, I don't think it really worked after eating the whole thing. At first, I was like, oh, yeah, this is good. This is good. But the more I ate it, the more I'm like, you know what? I don't know. It needed something else, I guess. Just being honest. I doubt many of you have stuck around to this point, though, so you only saw my first reaction, but... For some reason, eggs and tortillas just work. The other day, I was like lazy, didn't feel like spending money. I had some tortillas and some eggs sitting around. And I'm like, and that was it. I had a little bit of salsa and ketchup as well. And I was like, you know what, let's just try it out, see what, how it is. And literally nothing else, no other, like, no other ingredients, just eggs. Maybe a little bit of salsa or ketchup, wrap it up in a tortilla. And I, it was good, man. Just I, I scrambled them up. And it was like decently good. Very poor man's meal, but hey. It'll get the job done for sure.
Mm. Ooh. Man. That was really feeling uh, really good. This breakfast, this uh, bacon, egg, and cheese burrito. Although it didn't look that good. This one looked good, but honestly, I don't know if it, how I don't know how well it works to be honest with y'all. But not just my two cents. Maybe some of you guys would like something like that. But uh, I mean, it was all it was still good overall. Everything was still good. Good meal. I'm satisfied. Uh, I appreciate that meal for sure. You gotta appreciate the meals. Sometimes I take I take eating big meals like this for granted. And I look at it like, man, like back in the day, like I remember eating literally like table scraps to survive. So yeah, I'm, all right, sorry, maybe I ate too much. Anyway, uh, that's about it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.